Well, it's probably a huge surprise because I never never thought about it in my life. I just kind of did my stuff, and I didn't. Uh, awards were. I didn't really think about that. I just tried to work hard and make the movies, and then when they um, called, I was proud and excited for my family, man. And they've been so nice to me. Everybody here at the Kennedy Center, and last night I got to know a lot of the people. Just, just it's been it's been awesome. Do I do anything that makes you laugh? I don't oh know. yes. We have what a does hard he do? Time. What does he do? We're getting serious together yeah. in a scene, looking yeah. into each other's eyes. That doesn't usually go too well. He <laughs> almost teared up a minute ago when Rachel asked him a question about you. He yeah. was like, Stiller, I was bringing Stiller. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. When he was on SNL, I, I knew. I was magnetically, as so many people were, I was, and there was nothing original about my obsession for him. Um, I was in a long line of people, but. I just saw a charm and a talent and something that I was so magnetically and chemically drawn to. I think it's fantastic, you know, I just love that they're giving this to him and he so well deserves it. I mean, Adam's the everyman. I think that's why people can relate to him because uh, you, you sense the anger underneath there <laughs> and you sense the frustration because you have frustration. No one's had a career like this, 30 years, 60 movies. If you want really silly, broad characters, now you can have Uncut Gems and Hustle, yeah, his comedy album. So he's just created so much work, and no one, no one has a resume like that. I'm so glad that he has been doing these dramatic films, because I always saw that in him. And I'm sorry, I'm not the one to have written a, mu a movie and directed him in a, you know, in a, in a dramatic role. Um, but I'm so happy that that you know other directors have discovered that in in him and are and are exploiting it.